All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, got another trip planned out. We're on the Buffalo River. We're gonna do four days in the wilderness section. So we're floating from Rush to uh, Ships Ferry on the White. Um, it's about 30 miles. We have a uh, fly craft and my buddy's uh, homemade drift boat. So uh, should be a good time. Got a bunch of gear. Uh, mostly a float trip, probably do a little bit of fishing, but we're probably gonna spend, um, you know, most of the time just kind of floating. River levels are pretty good. About five feet-ish, maybe five and a half. And the flow is about 2100 CFS right now. So should be really good float condition. So we're excited about it. Time to get going. Yep, and then it shoots down, and then it's gonna 90 back to the left. Just go to the right of that rock. Try to keep yourself back left, and if that's too dangerous, throw the two Good. <laughs> well done. I'm gonna say that's a, a quality fish. Yeah, a while ago, but yeah, we did. They're in there. Perfect. Behind the rocks. Mm hmm. It's that water. Oh! It's alright. He was a little better, too. Yeah. He had some really impressive. Uh, yeah, he was colored up. I like his those tiger stripes. It's not that high though. I mean, it's about like a foot. You can get right off the bank. Okay. Another one of those rock bass. 
Yeah, see there was he was there's another that tree. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Yeah, he did. I got all that on camera. It's off. Yep. Yeah. I think a crawfish around the edges around here would probably catch him some better we're gonna catch a bigger fish I think that's probably it Nah, you could probably stop here and I'll walk down. I mean, I, I can see more sand down there. I can tell. I just don't know if it's worth, you know, until we go and look at it before we drive past. Like, because this is all pretty good right here. I mean. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. It's a little wet, close to the water. Yeah, that spot up there is, I mean. No weather, I mean. Yeah. Water should not come up and get us. No, and I mean, there's plenty of places to bug out. So. All right, what's up, everyone? We are done for the day. I think we did like seven miles a day. Beautiful weather, got up to like 70. Uh, it's supposed to get down to 40 tonight, so I have my hammock set up, I have my 30 degree bag, and uh, should be fine. Got some some layers and stuff to sleep in tonight, but uh, every night after this it gets warmer. Tomorrow's like 50, the next day is 60, and the day after that's like 65. The highs are uh, getting up to about 70 each day. It felt, it was hot, the sun was beating down us today, and I felt like I got cooked, but uh, you know. We had a good time. Uh, you don't come to Buffalo for the fishing. Fishing was okay today. Got some fish. Uh, you come for the seclusion and be hanging out and grab a bar with your buddies uh, and nobody around. Like you can't beat the view. So this is one of those places. You know, it's just it's just fun to come out here and, and be out. So uh, got my hammock. I'm doing the hammock thing. Uh, they're doing tents. We got our drift boat and the fly craft. And pretty much, I just came to put on some wet, some uh, change out of the wet clothes, put some dry clothes on, and charge up some gopher batteries uh, and then you go figure out what they're doing for dinner and help out um grab some firewood already so that's what we that's the pile there um but yeah you can't beat the view right i mean this is pretty awesome pretty much been doing the uh, the buffalo thing for almost 35 years so um this is my second or third trip on the wilderness section uh and it gets it's just a special place so but uh, that's pretty much all I got for this. We'll uh, we'll check in a little bit later and try to keep adding stuff to the story. All right, so we're done. We're gonna load up. Um, they're packing up right now. Got everything in the in the boats. Uh, had some coffee. We're going to little bar for breakfast. I uh, got in about 40 last night, so it was a little bit, little bit of a chill. Got me up about four. Uh, plan of days, it flowed about seven or eight miles. Uh, and that'll give us about 16 in two days so far. And another 14 to go, so should be a good day. All right, which ride you want? No. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty slow through here. I'm yeah. Try your All right. I'll take them both. Mine on the old oh yeah, it was because it's a first trip, not a. The first trip there is always humbling. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that's he's right there. Yeah. There he is. I saw him. That was fun. That was cool. <laughs> There's a net. All right, we'll bring him over here. 
No, no, no. Just talking trash to you, wouldn't I? Well, I'll take that as a fun, fun little dude. Oh, I got this thing on. I get it. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> I would have had done it back there. That's like perfect spot to do it. Oh, good fish. Got all I can get with a five weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might actually paddle, paddle towards him. Okay. Alright, you got a net? Hope we can get him in the boat. I'm on the other side. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dude! That's the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. Holy cow. Ah. Well, you can dig that out. Alright. I'll let you do the... Okay. I was gonna say, I got you need an iPhone picture. Some idea, because they're gonna ask. That's cool. Oh, I guarantee there is, yeah. I bet it's probably really great fishing because it's so limited access. Hey, you can beat it. I got it. Yeah, well, I, I've heard people doing that. Oh, really? Yeah. We had a good day here on the river. Um, went another eight miles or so. Camping here tonight. Got my hammock set up. It's not great for hammock, but it'll work. Um, definitely was expected more gravel. Um, it's been about 10 years since I did this float, but there's been plenty of uh, plenty of sand. So next time I think I'm gonna bring my tent. Um, everybody else has got a tent and it's been working out pretty well. But uh, yeah, fishing was good today. We were throwing floating lines about 10 foot liters and just jigging around rocks and stuff and found some good fish so um probably gonna do that the rest of the trip because it seems like that's more 
productive than sinking lines. Um, I think the sinking lines were spooking some of the fish, but water's up. It's been falling. Looks good today. So we have uh, one more day tomorrow, and then we'll get up early and head out Sunday. <laughs> and they're laughing at me. <laughs> so, what's for dinner? Barbecue and beans. <laughs> Barbecue and beans. All right, that's, we're done for tonight, so time to eat.